Netflix's newest film tells the story of a pilot, Adam Reed, who teams up with his 12-year-old self to save the world after crash landing in 2022. I watched The Adam Project. Should you? Let's find out. How's it going, movie watchers? Thank you guys for stopping by my channel. Today we're going to talk about The Adam Project, which reteams director Sean Levy, who directed Free Guy and actor Ryan Reynolds. This also brings along Mark Ruffalo, Jennifer Gardner, and Zoe Zaldana and Walker Scobell as the 12-year-old version of Ryan Reynolds' character. Going into The Adam Project, I was worried how Walker Scobell and Ryan Reynolds were going to act with each other. Ryan Reynolds has a very specific style of humor that I find to be quite funny and a little bit sarcastic, but it works. And how would Walker Scobell be able to match that? But I found both of the characters in here to be really entertaining and they do a fine job of playing that same character. The chemistry between Ryan Reynolds and Walker Scobell is perfect. And Walker Scobell is also very sarcastic. He has a very specific style of humor. It's exactly what I expected when a young kid is supposed to be playing a younger version of Ryan Reynolds. I thought it worked very well. And there was a lot of humor from this film. Uh, a lot of more adult humor. A little bit harsh jokes between the two. But to the same person. They're not going to get along with each other. Because uh, certain things have happened within their life. This film is very touching. Despite it feeling like a comedy a lot of times. I was also impressed with how they were able to manage some of the heart. And the emotional moments within the film. We have Mark Ruffalo who plays the father within the film to Adam Reed and it's almost like a little bit of Bruce Banner with his humor. He's also a little bit sarcastic and rude to people, but it works. But when we are introduced to Mark Ruffalo's character, he is an integral part to the story. The film manages to craft this relationship with limited amount of time with Mark Ruffalo. When we are introduced to Mark Ruffalo's character, you immediately feel that bond between the characters and the love they have for each other. The father-son story in here is perfect. There's a lot of moments that pull at your heartstrings, uh, a lot of moments that do feel very touching, and it works. And even when Mark Ruffalo isn't introduced just yet, you hear the conversations about their father and it is uh, very touching and it works. And it leads up to when he is introduced to where it really is important and that emotional moment works. Zoe Zaldana also is in the film and she provides some of the best action within here. Uh, she gets involved with a lot of the intense action scenes. Sean Levy is able to bring in some of the futuristic moments from the story into 2022 and have some modern action scenes as well and then we have a lot of uh, cgi and uh, big explosions to really fill it out but also brings in a great soundtrack a lot of rock and roll songs pop songs to really accompany these action scenes and really hype it up you saw that with free guy free guy had a great soundtrack and here once again they utilize a great soundtrack to really hype up these action scenes and get you really energized as you're watching a lot of the scenes especially coming from zoe zaldana middle half of the film and some fun ones at the end as well a lot of references to popular movies like free guy did as well jennifer gardner is also in the film she doesn't have the strongest storyline in here but when you look at her character mark ruffalo's character uh, and after you watch the film, you start to think about relationships with your own parents and how our time is limited with everybody. And the film does a great job of providing that message to cherish your loved ones while also giving us a lot of fun action scenes and a lot of humor as well. I was impressed with how they were able to balance the sci-fi moments, the action scenes, the humor, the heart. It's kind of really got it all. And it feels like an 80s action film with its futuristic moments, its sci-fi moments, and uh, the heart and the action behind it all. 
it feels like a classic Amblin production in regards to uh, the kind of the things that they touch upon. But I was just so happy with how Walker Scobell and Ryan Reynolds were able to be that same person. The humor worked and the action scenes were a lot of fun and the soundtrack was a blast. This is a really enjoyable film. Uh, I, I do prefer Free Guy over The Adam Project, but I do think that The Adam Project had more of an important message and had a lot of emotional moments that did work for these characters and the progression of that story and how it's developing throughout and how it feels important and how it feels important and urgent to both the world and how they're trying to save the world and also uh, it's important to ryan reynolds he has his own personal motive within the film he's trying to accomplish something for himself and that feels urgent in more ways than one and and it's affecting both the the past and the present it's affecting the present and the past and the future as well so there's a lot at stake it here there's a lot at stake in the movie there's a lot at stake within the movie but not only for the world but also for some of our characters overall the adam project impressed me on several levels with the way that it looked the touching moments the heart it has the action the soundtrack it all just kind of comes together to make a really enjoyable family film despite some harsh jokes between walker scobell and ryan reynolds it's still a fun film to watch with the family so before i give you my score for the adam project make sure to check out my channel here i do movie reviews trailer reactions ranking videos tier lists all that fun movie related content that you see on youtube i do it all here so hit that subscribe button and get it all in one spot. And if you would like to see where the Adam Project ranks amongst all of the other 2022 releases I have seen this year, follow me on Letterboxd and there you can find my ranking. I'm going to go ahead and give the Adam Project a B+. Thank you guys for checking my review for the Adam Project on Netflix. Have you guys seen it by chance? What do you think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more up and coming content like this. My name is Just Watches Movies and you guys stay classy YouTube.